Yo, what's the deal? <clears throat> it's your play upon the Bobby A.A. A. Jones. Hey, I'm macking in because I've been receiving a lot of requests since um I made that video, right, in regards to um BJ. It's been a lot of people's reaching out to me in regards to, like, you know, the history of Imperial Courts. And one of the things that a few of them reached out and wanted to know, what does hurt or hurt mean, right? And what's the history be behind the word hurt or hurt? Heard or heard for me, it's it's like a term, it's it's a term of endearment. You know what I mean? When you're talking to your partners and all that, you be like, hey, heard or heard, hey, I'm about to go over here to the stove. Um, go with me. Or hey, heard or heard, um, um, go to my car and get this. It's a term of endearment, right? It's also a term of upliftment. So if you're talking to your partner and your partner is in a, a bad state, you'll be like, hey, heard or heard, keep your head up. You know what I mean? Like, like it's going to be all right. Heard, heard. It's something that we use to motivate each other, encourage each other. And um, a word that just encompasses love. That's what that's what heard or heard mean for me. You know, different homies may have different interpretations and um, different um, definitions of the word. But for me, heard or heard is, is, is a term. It's a, it's a term of endearment. It's a term that we use to encourage. It's a term that we use to to motivate and support one another. You know what I mean? So it's that for me, it's like the active force of the hood, her to her, right? As far as the history of her to her, um, how I became familiar with her to her, I say it's probably like it was probably like 1989. I'm a kid, right? Um, me and my family, we stayed on the island side in Imperial Course housing projects in the PJs, right? So one night we hear like a lot of footsteps, right? A lot of hurried footsteps. Somebody say, um, watch that car right there, cuz, watch that car. They getting out, they getting out. Boom, blam, 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 no, 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 boom, blam, 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 blam. Just hear a barrage of shots, right? So once those shots stop, you hear cars skirt on skirt. Once those shots stop, on the other side, I say like in between 114th and grape, 115 and grape down on the um the deep end of the bull, you hear another um barrage of shots. Bloom, 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 blam, bloom, blam, bloom, blam, blam, bloom, blam, blam, bloom, bloom, blam, 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 blam. I'm a kid. It was so many shots, it seemed like the shots wouldn't stop. It sounded like it sounded like the shots was gonna um go on forever, right? So when the shots stopped, you heard something. At first it was um indiscernible. You couldn't really figure out what they were saying, but it was like, um, I don't want to say a domino effect, but it was like, um, it started on the bull side. And then it started getting closer to the island side. And whoever was over there patrolling the hood at that point in time, they joined in a chant. Hurt a hurt! Hurt a hurt! Hurt a And it seemed like the whole projects woke up and engaged in this war chant of her to her. This was a neologism. You know, for me, even my auntie had asked one of my cousins, I'm not for sure if it was um my cousin B or my cousin L, like, what's that they saying? And um, that's when he educated my auntie, like that's what that's what they say now. Like that's what everybody be saying, her to her. So I was introduced to the term her to her in um in 1989 after a shootout. And after that shootout, it seems like you know, it was like a war chant. And throughout the community, more and more peoples was picking up on the neologism, the new term of her to her. So that's how her to her um became a part of my life. Is 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 through that incident and whatnot. And um going forward, you know, the next night, as soon as um the sun started going down, certain individuals from Imperial Course housing projects, they took assault rifles and they started shooting out all the lights in the projects. So you heard, you know, just heard you know, shots, motherfuckers shooting out the lights, and um, they started back putting the trash in the trash, the, the trash cans in the middle of the streets. I was familiar with of that, right? So when you was growing up, nah. these niggas act it out, talking shit that they ain't about to fix them out. Got a problem, we can shoot it out, we close your mouth. Gunplay ain't a thing for me, I'm feeling death, so I tell my kids to pray for me, this real life. It ain't a move, it ain't make believe, happy niggas. Ain't the niggas that they came to me to say I'm shot these niggas So you know I keep the thing to me, my life
valuables. You know, I ain't a game. Got a mind like my mix, but I crip like Tookie. Got this Tupac passion, but I crip like Tookie. Got this Walker Story vision, but I crip like Tookie. How do you become successful when you crip like Tookie? A million man.